Hey guys, welcome to another video of my channel and today what we're going to be talking about is step one preparation. I know that some of you have asked me to go more in depth about step one preparation and I decided to ask a couple of friends who did very well on their step exactly what they did to prepare for step one. Um, so I'm just going to let them introduce themselves. Hey everyone, my name is Rourke, I'm an MS3, I'm a classmate of Christine's. Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea, I'm an MS4, I'm doing anesthesia. Hi everyone, I'm Myra, I'm an MS4, I'm doing ophthalmology. What did you guys do prior to actually taking step one to prepare for step one? Um, okay, so also let me just preface all of this kind of by saying that like you're going to hear a lot of uh, advice throughout the years and a lot of people's opinions on what you need to do to study for this test. Um, but ultimately, like it's going to be up to you and what works best for you. Um, so take you know everything that you hear with a grain of salt. So prior to taking step one, um, I actually just like focused all my efforts on doing well in like the modules and the individual tests uh, for those classes. And I figured that way, like if I really knew that material at the time that I was learning initially, it'd be less like makeup work or catch up work for me to do during dedicated study time. Yeah, I'll say the same. Um, before step one, I didn't do really any preparation. I didn't do any U-World. I just really wanted to focus on doing really well in my courses. Just to kind of say, um, our curriculum is a little bit different. So we have circle curriculum, which ends in February, and we pretty much talk from February until July, uh, yeah. free to which either, so nice. yeah, which is amazing. So either to study for step, to take vacation, to do electives, research, whatever it is you want. So all the above. <laughs> and so I, we had a lot of time. That's just the FYI. So even I did. So that's why I didn't personally start studying any time before step. You know, before my dedicated mm -hmm. study time because we had so much time outlined. And so for those of you out there who do have maybe only four or five weeks to study, it might be like, you know, more important to you to start studying a little bit earlier. So maybe four or five, six months out, you know, ahead of your dedicated study time, just taking an hour or two or however much time you have per day to start. So a lot of you guys said um, that you use DIT or you didn't use DIT. Can you, I guess, elaborate exactly what is DIT? Uh, so DIT is doctors in training. It's like, a, like an online, like, study guide platform that has videos over like the different subjects um, and each video is like and you guys can like tell me if I'm wrong but like uh, like different it's usually by like subject but it's also kind of broken up so they'll have like 16 biochem videos in a row and they'll kind of like for the first 16 go through like cell basics and like uh, like glucose metabolism and stuff like that and then it'll move on to like something random like neurology um, and it'll go over like strokes for a little bit but yeah it's pretty much just like videos and there's a bug that you can follow along with um, they have like activities. Does it follow first aid? I thought it followed um, first aid. You can definitely use first aid yeah, like, along okay. with it. Yeah it's like really similar to first aid. They, yeah. It's almost like they're yeah. reading out of first aid, but I feel like they structure that way on purpose, but they have their own book, and so I mostly used first aid as I was going through. Yeah, the yeah definitely. And when I was using it, like, I also used first aid and would annotate. So if it was like something that wasn't necessarily in first aid or some like mnemonic that I thought was really helpful, I would actually write that like on the page that correlated with that DFT video. And the nice thing about it for me was like they have like what page correlates each video like, mm -hmm. like on that video. So it makes it really easy and like very like convenient for kind of studying purposes. Okay. Yeah, I, I liked DIT for the fact that it helped me to kind of get through first aid uh, the first time. So it allowed me to kind of follow the videos without just sitting there for hours on end, you know, reading and reading and reading first aid. Um, but I don't know if I would have used it again. I did like it in the sense that it helped me get through first aid, but I feel like um, in the end, I probably could have just read through first aid on my own and then used DIT for the topics that I was a little bit weaker on. Um, really so I have bittersweet feelings about DIT. Um, so I started doing DIT, but I felt like it was just a regurgitation of first aid. Me personally, maybe if I had given it more of a chance and I wouldn't have felt that way. But I just thought initially, like Chelsea, um, as DIT, as she was watching DIT, she would go through first aid. I was just reading the same thing. So maybe there was a mnemonic here or there that they supply that maybe might not have been in first aid. But for me, I just felt like I was wasting time watching a video and reading the same thing when I could just read the same thing on my own, probably a little bit faster. And I wouldn't have to dedicate extra time to watching these videos um, when I can just be reading or when I can just be doing more questions. So I think. Ultimately, it probably depends on how you study best. Yeah. If you feel like you're more, you like to kind of guide yourself with reading, you don't need to have someone else like speaking it to you, then I would think that it would be better if you didn't use DIT. But do you guys think so? Or, yeah, yeah, and it's like all of yeah. this just like, or said is, you know, to be taken with a grain of salt or just mm -hmm. to be taken with the consideration that we all learn so differently. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So now that we're on the topic of what resources that you use while you were studying for STEP, um, can, can you outline exactly what you did when you were studying for STEP? So I scheduled out nine weeks in and I feel like I only really did like seven weeks of dedicated study because I got sick the very first week of STEP and so I was just kind of like moseying through DIT and the very last week I think I was just a little delirious and exhausted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I started um, with DIT and so what I would do is I would allocate however long it took me to get through 10 videos and usually it would take like four-ish hours of the morning time. So I would start at maybe seven and the very first part of the morning, that first hour, I would do like my biochem or my micro since I decided I was gonna spread it out. So I would spend an hour just reading through first aid and kind of correlating that with the DIT video that I would watch. And I would usually watch one or two and I would alternate my days between biochem and micro until I finished everything. And then um, I would start with my organ system. And then as soon as I was done, or since I was done around like noon or one, just depending on how slow I went for that day, I would take a little bit of a lunch break and then I would go back and just jump into questions. And I would attempt to do two sets of questions per day. It took me about mm, four weeks, four and a half weeks to get through 
through DIT and um, I just felt like that was like a little, a little too long. <laughs> like it, just, it was just, I was getting pretty tired of like spending my mornings watching videos. In that last few weeks, I was like, just read through first aid. Since I read through first aid with the DIT um, in those last few weeks, so those last like three and a half, like four weeks, I just started over again. So and my very last two weeks of step studying, I just did straight questions because I felt like I was learning a lot from the questions and it was helping me remember things and it was like recall versus like just reading first aid or spending a whole lot of time on first aid. So I just started in the morning and pretty much went until between nine and 11. Um, and I would typically start my morning at about seven and seven to noon lunch and then from noon until just whenever I was um, done. I follow the schedule very similar to Chelsea except I do do DIT. Um, so basically I would study six out of seven days of the week and so each morning for six days so let's say Monday morning I would do an hour of biochem Tuesday morning I do an hour of micro Wednesday morning I go back to biochem Thursday morning I do micro so just was talking about the alternating that's that's what we, we would do like an hour biochem uh, Monday micro Tuesday biochem Monday or third Wednesday and then keep going um, and I and I also incorporate farm into mine just because I wasn't very strong with pharmacology coming into it so um, so each so I did biochem micro farm like in all this from one hour each day in the morning prior to starting um when i was starting my reading the first day for whatever module i was going and then to. after lunch time which would probably take like an hour or so then i would uh, do questions as i was going through the questions especially, especially with the answers i'll have first aid in front of me and on every question i would read make sure you read all like the answer the answers why the answer is right why the answer the other choices are wrong and make sure you're going through first aid and actually writing things down that you don't know or you think are really important to remember because the thing is that eventually when you're doing more questions and you're referencing first aid it's nice to have all the information down because first aid doesn't have everything but if you write down things that you've seen from previous questions you'll be like oh i remember this i remember that so that's what I would do. So I would say in the afternoon after lunch, I would go through um, one and a half to two question sets. Then I'd go home, probably take a little, another little hour break. And then um, in the evening, I would do Pathoma. And then I would do uh, Sketchy Farm. So, um, that's essentially how I divide up my schedule. I studied probably for about 10 weeks total, but the first, I'm gonna say three weeks, I wasn't really studying very well. Uh, so <laughs> there's probably a good seven weeks of dedicated study time, uh, which is probably about 10 to 12 hours of studying a day. Like I said, for eight weeks total, um, I would say like it took me, I started with the IT, it took me like three and a half, maybe four weeks to finish that. I would do the U World questions like after watching the videos. I would do like a set or two, um, and I would do it on like random. So like yes, even if I didn't look at that like certain subject that day, I would still like you know there would be a chance that those subjects would come up on U World, and it was fine. So I used it as like a learning material, not like as a test of my like kind of progress. Uh, I also like wrote down or like made a board document of everything that I got wrong. If it was like on U World, I would like kind of write a little like, description, like a short little like oh this you know disease manifests this way. If it was something I'd never heard of before, and I would try to read through that at the end of the day, like just in bed. Um, I thought that really helped me. Um, in all, I think I went through your world like 1.25 times. Not through uh, your world, maybe like 1.75 times. And I really recommend getting through it two times. Or if you're just that person who gets through it one time, one really, really good time, then that may work for you. And I feel like that worked for you, right? That was me. Yeah. <laughs> you got through it one really, really good really time. Good time. And I, and uh, again, it's just like it's it's tough to you know go through it a whole two times. It's a lot of yeah, it's a lot. A lot. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so after uh, after DIT, first MBME, and total I took like four MBMEs, I think. Um, and I thought those were super helpful too because it's good to like start working on your pacing at the halfway mark, I would say, and like kind of just familiar yourself with like that kind of environment. Um, and then after that, like the main resources I used were sketchy. I used micro and uh, farm. Um, and then I used, um, what is it? Pathoma? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Uh, and then, yeah, this U world, a lot of U world. So. Um, and also, something important about the MBMEs, at least for me, like, so my trend on like my scores for that like was definitely like, down, which is not what you want to see, but like I would just say don't get super discouraged. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's kind of a balance of being realistic and just like understanding that there's a lot of different things that go into it, and not every MBME is going to be a great indicator of how you're going to do on the real thing. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Like, my last MBME was like 20, 30 points lower okay. than mine. Yeah, my last one yeah. was like almost 30. Yeah. So, like, maybe, yeah. Like, for, for me, like the MBME is like really, really, really helpful for me because what I would do is after each MBME, I would um, go over every single question that I got wrong. Mm -hmm. And so I would go through first A, if first A didn't have it, I would go through Pathoma. So that took me like a day and a half to honestly go through every single question. Um, I think that really helped me because it showed me what my weakest points were. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to study uh, more vigorously on those um, points. So I think I took um, pretty much an MBME or a CBSE every single week. I took um, an exam at the end to pretty much gauge how uh, well I was learning, if I was learning the right things, or if I was wasting my time. Um, there were cer certain weeks that I was obviously wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> were like really going down but like they said don't get discouraged on your CBSE scores or your MBME scores so don't listen to people saying that you know your MBME yeah. score is going to be like plus or minus five you, points like, <laughs> how much time I wasted on the internet like, how well does MBME 15 correlate to your actual test score it's like I've been studying for exactly, exactly. yeah don't stress okay please. so okay so um what is the best resource just one 
the best resource, if you can pick one, that you felt really helped you on your um, stuff. And I'll go first. Say it all at once. I think, I think we all agree. <laughs> Sketching farm. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I think about that one. Oh, really? so, that one would be my second, but wow. Sketchy Farm would be the best one for Actually, me because was I was, was like literally the, the, whenever I took my CBSCs and my MBMEs, yeah. I probably got one farm question right. I yeah. kid you not. Farm it was horrible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Farm was my best score on stuff. Wow. So yeah, I would say my number one is Sketchy Farm. <laughs> <laughs> So, I would say, I think it's obvious that U World is like number one. Like, you world, yeah, everyone's it's... going to use U World. If, yeah. you, if you don't use U World, you, you're, you're going to fail. U World is a must. You so, to. other than U World, other than. I mean, yeah. I'm going to say first aid. Which I like mean, also... yeah, just those things. It's just, it, it is. It's just yeah. what it is. Like, I mean, guys, U World, first aid, path mm -hmm. the Oma, if yeah. you want sketchy farms. In that order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that order. Plus or minus GIT, depending on your work style. Yeah, the idea is the bottom of GIT. Exactly. So, if there's one thing that you can redo with, about uh, step studying, what would that be? Okay. Um, so I know at the beginning I said that like my pre-step like dedicated time was focusing on doing well in the classes. One thing I wish I would have done uh, is I wish I would have used like first aid and like pathoma during yeah. those classes yeah. because like I don't think that that would have like precluded me from I guess doing, doing well. well. It would have helped yeah. me do well in those classes yeah. and I would have like familiarized myself Definitely. with like the extra resources. Like, as well. I, it's just because you just feel like we don't have enough time. Yeah. 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 That's first aid. It's just and like then, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Like yeah. I did it open first aid one time, Neither. first through second year like. I don't want to yeah, but I mean, we still did well. We still did well. So I'm like, that, that doesn't also really be yeah, well. Yeah. Me doing U World probably more than my once. <laughs> <laughs> and I like barely read the once. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, a lot of us did different things pretty much catered to our personal study habits. So don't feel like you have to um, take on a certain study schedule based off of what Rourke did or what Chelsea did or what Myra did. So I think overall, like my advice for study for step one is to kind of be true to your own learning style. Uh, take note of how you learn best the first like two years, two and a half years, um, and then use that when you're studying for step one. And uh, yeah, a day off is best, like, yeah. the best thing that I yeah. scheduled mm -hmm. in my like. All you need is one day. Yeah. Exactly. Nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> Stay off of Student Doctor Network. Stay off yeah, of Student go. Doctor Network. <laughs> Stay off of Student Doctor Network. <laughs> Like the most important thing is just take advantage of your own learning style. I feel like that's probably how we all did well is we took advantage of what we like to do. Just do whatever works for you. There'll, there'll be times you're gonna feel very stressed. Mm -hmm. I mean, studying for 10 hours a day, just sitting there. I think I even got a sitting injury. Okay. I didn't know that was possible. I didn't stress, but yeah. <laughs> on test day, um, you have to understand this test is it's very. There's a psychological component to it. Like you have to not freak yourself out. Like you know, that. just be confident in yourself going into it. Know that you've studied a lot, that you've prepared a lot. And it's okay if you don't know something. And don't let that just affect your entire day, your entire test day. Because, um, like I said, and I think they'll agree with this as well, just half of it is psychological. Like, you need to not stress yourself out during the day. Just be confident going into it. You're gonna miss some questions, and that's okay. And um, also, just know that you are smart enough and you are in med school for a reason. And every single one of us went through exactly what you went through. There's a lot of doctors right now who went through exactly what you went through. So yes, you might be stressing, but there is a big bright light at the end of the tunnel and you'll be a lot more relieved once you finally take that exam. So thank you guys for coming on to this uh, panel and giving everyone an idea of what you did for, st uh, for step studying. Um, if anyone has any questions specifically for anybody here, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment box and I will shoot the, those questions back to them. Um, other than that, if you have any other questions, concerns, or want to know more about a specific topic, please let me know. Email me or write down in the comment box or follow me on Instagram. <laughs> um, <laughs> but other than that, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys sometime soon. I'm on my surgery rotation, so my bedtime is literally in, in an hour. <laughs> In an hour, uh, I gotta get up at 3 a.m. and it's. It's the worst. What's the time is it? It's like almost seven. Six forty-seven. Oh, my bedtime is in 13 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Hopefully, see you guys later. Bye. Thanks guys. Hey guys. So today. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Hey guys. So today, what we're going to be doing? No, <clears throat> hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Today, what are we doing today? This is gonna be my last time. <laughs> <laughs>